Hi everybody, in this video we will talk about Cape Eagle All Facts. So, and let's begin. The distribution of Cape Eagle Owls uh, is kind of irregular and the owls are most consistently distributed through the uh, southernmost African countries. Uh, the Cape Eagle Owl is predominantly found in mountainous regions and hilly areas with rocks. Rocky gorges excavated by rivers and adjacent wood gullies may also hold them. They prefer a scattering or vegetative coverage uh, which they may use for roosting or concealment during nightly hunts. Uh, however, they predominantly breed, roost and hunt on rocks. They are not wholly tied to rocky environments and may be found in some numbers in uh, flat Karoo in the Cape province. They are not known to occur at sea level. On occasion, these owls may wander into human settlements or even towns, often specifically to predate abundant uh, rock pigeons. Total length of this owl is from 18 to 24 inches or from 46 to 61 centimeters. And the uh, uh, weight of the males is from 2 to 3 pounds or from uh, 900 to almost uh, 1,400 grams. Uh, however, females are uh, a bit larger in weight. This all is dark brown uh, about the prominent ear tufts and yellow or yellowish orange eyes, which you may clearly see on this picture. The song of the male cape eagle owl consists of a powerful explosive hood, followed by a faint note uh, such as boohoo. Uh, the female's voice is similar but slightly higher pitched, and on occasion uh, pairs uh, will uh, do it do it. I also want to mention that both females and young give a nasal drone out uh, sound when uh, they back four foot at the nest. Uh, also, uh, females uh, cluck slightly while offering food to their young. And well alarmed, both sexes let out uh, a barking whack whack sound. The Cape Eagle is nocturnal, roosting by day amongst rocks in sheltered rock at ledges or in large rock uh, crevices and caves. They may also roost in trees or even on the ground amongst dense bushes. They have been rarely found roosting in cities like Johannesburg and Pretoria. And uh, often a male and female can be found roosting together, especially just before the breeding season. They predominantly prey um, for the small mammals and uh, mammalian prey for these species can range in size from shrews and small rodents to the size of hares heavier than themselves. And uh, that basically it for Cape Eagle All Facts. If you like this video, please take a moment and comment below, watch other videos on our channel and subscribe to our channel as well.